Welcome back to Armchair Gaffers. Here with myself, Walks, SB, Jess, Scorch, and the newest member of the team, Chicken Connoisseur. Just uh, for today, doing a mukbang. <laughs> oh, yeah, those mukbang videos are kind of mad, isn't it? Yeah, I got like eight and not a single view on any of them. I've done I've done eight mukbangs. You've done mukbangs yourself? I've done eight mukbangs and not a single view. Okay. Probably because I haven't posted them online yet. That probably makes sense. Yeah. Um, I find them like quite weird like, and they're kind of semi-sexual, I think, sometimes. You think so? Yeah, I've seen like a woman like down in, um, it was mad. It was like a mad big shrimp or something. Yeah, no, no. Yo, 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 yeah. yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yo, this is another welcome yeah. to Armchair, Armchair Gaffers. Gaffers. It's not <laughs> much, yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the football stuff. Uh, for Crazy. those of you watching this online, we'd like to remind you that the podcast is available for your listening pleasure on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Uh, before we get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you have your notifications on. Ring the bell, yada yada yada. Uh, fellas, few footballing stories this week. Harry Kane posted a training pic, another session in the bank. So he's starting to do his training sessions in banks because he just doesn't train. J- Jess? I don't know if you guys have seen the picture when Harry Kane posted another session in the bank. Okay. He looked very lonely. It <laughs> looks almost photoshopped. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try and put a What bank is that? Yeah. I'm going to um, try and put a little pop up on the empty. screen so we can see this. But that was the loneliest looking, training session I've yeah, ever seen. I'm like, at least have someone in the background. At least. To make it look like you are training. Uh, something. It was weird. But yeah, he's he's back in the bank. Uh Puma kits this week, uh shirts with no crests. Uh the names of the club are written on the front in case you forgot who you support. Uh rather than release uh, its latest jerseys one at a time, Puma instead opted for a ten pronged approach on Wednesday. Uh they're shocking. Not as bad as Juventus's third kit. Juventus's third kit? Oh, no. oh yeah. yeah. Looks like rugby league, St. Helens or one of those kind of people. Sorry, SB. I was just gonna say, did you see what Dortmund did? I'm gonna get onto that. You that, that I was gonna go there, but I thought it was Conti Corner, innit? Yeah, that's that's, that's, yeah, that's Conti Corner stuff. Okay. But Juventus's third kit looks like a volleyball. I'll put it up on screen as well. I'll pop it in. I've, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, blue I'll pop yellow. it in. And so strange. It. Yeah, so. but I've got a lot of stuff for Conti for the, this. Um, I stuff. think the Puma kit's uh, shocking. And a player from Fenerbahce, Gumiskaya, he scored, tried to celebrate by kissing the badge. Then he realised there was no badge. No, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> quite sad. No, That's you guys don't do your research. Absolutely. There is a badge. The badges are everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're like everywhere. What, like, yeah. what do you call it? Sponsors. That? No, 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 no. It's like no, a no, wallpaper no. almost. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, but yeah, he, went for the, he went for the traditional, but there was nothing there. SB, tell us, mm. tell us, SB, tell us what Dortmund did. Dortmund said, "Fuck this shit, the fuck, p- fucking with our club. Mm-hmm. Oh Don't we fucking with our crest and our badge like that?" The, in in English, thank you. The, <laughs> the Dortmund fans protested and yeah. said no. Cause I, res- it, I respect it because it was leaked. There was a leaked image um, months ago, like mm-hmm. before the Euros. And the Dortmund fan said, no. No way. No, no, no. No bueno. He was saying, no, 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 no. Germany. He was saying, yeah, 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 yeah. He was saying, yeah. 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 So they did that. Um, so yeah, they said that. They, awful kits. They look like kits you get like in a holiday market in Spain or something. They or on look, a beach. Yeah, looky, looky, look like, man. No, you know, like the shop, the shop just outside your hotel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything uh, you could need. Soap. Mugs. Random Gucci, mugs. Yeah, mugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to wherever the Gucci. place is. Like, <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. I, I saw someone describe the kits as the kit you have in your club shop. That's not your official kit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is like the the um the Tottenham Worse. shop that's in Enfield Town. Yes, on the Harold. Right. But yeah. it's like, Which is also isn't in Tottenham. No. Nah. Nah. Or part of. Yeah. I, but, but I was gonna say this though. Um Dortmund, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed something about all of their kits? They're the exact same. Exactly oh, forever, cool. and they just yeah. Um, sometimes, sometimes they they sometimes they jazz it up. So normally, it's home kits yellow. Yes. So normally home kits home kits, <laughs> home kits yellow, yeah, mm-hmm. and splash of black. Sometimes the secondary color. Sometimes they mix it up for the away kit and black, go. black. With what color though? Yellow as well. Yeah, that make, that makes sense. Mm. Uh, it's uh, innovative is what I'd call it uh, there was also another new kit launched this week Ajax's new kit 
Star. Black shirt, yes. Um, <laughs> Lion, almighty <laughs> Lion. Uh, green, red and gold trim, manufactured by Adidas, uh, will be worn in the Champions League, inspired by the iconic Bob Marley and we his timeless Marley, classic Marley. Three Little Birds. Yo, yo. Uh, does anyone know how it all started and why Ajax have that song? They were losing or there was a way. So they were away. There was a way somewhere and someone was just smoking a, friendly a bit. Of, it, was a, yeah, it was a friendly against Cardiff. And uh, obviously they got the birds in it, Cardiff. Mm. See, so no, they're they not seagulls. That's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just heard the their thing singing. So they say, raw. The stadium put it, uh, the stadium announced, so yeah, put it on at half time and they loved it. And it's just been adopted ever since. That's the yeah. They had Bob Marley's son come and perform it in 2012 and 2018. Which, which son? Uh, is he, yeah, is he? it's Kimani that one. Oh, Kimani, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been one of many. What's that? The grandson, the son. Yeah, we Wait, don't want to do numbers. Cousin. You know what's mad? If you chat to like them, right, them nice Dutch man, like um, Hullet and that. Yeah. You know Hullet used to like be in a dance, like a reggae band. Oh, was it? Yeah. So oh, he, like, there yeah, are links, I guess, he, between like, Amsterdam and yeah. A load of links uh, And his daughter uh, Sadella Was in the actual Promo video uh, Which is sick And if you haven't seen it I'd say check it out uh, But those are some Random stories From the football world And Man City have now uh, Compostable uh, coffee cups That you can eat Once you've finished uh, Your coffee What? That is so northern That's like, uh, That is that's so Not sure northern. what they're made of What do you mean You can just eat the cup yeah. Why the fuck Would you want it <laughs> Pre the it tastes like a That recycling. is mad Coffee probably <laughs> Oh, so it's chocolate now? <sighs> no clue. Or Someone coffee, who's tea. been to the had recently, let, let us know. Uh, it's a stiff biscuit. Maybe, yeah. It should taste like a biscuit. I mean, it made of like digestive you or something. It in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I don't know if it would hold the coffee. Yeah, it would have to be super dense. Yeah. Well, we digress. Uh, the biggest football match of the weekend. I was going to say podcast. Oh, that, that is us. In the space. Uh, you know that to be true. Arsenal, Chelsea. Oh, game which we always there. Hold on, one, sorry one second let me just get to my pace over to you. absolute madness can i can i uh, begin please no brother no brother can i set the scene first oh, uh, go on, this week saw scene. martin odegaard return home arsenal said that he returned home what do you think of that yeah that's right how much did they get by him for uh it's in the region of 50 million i think what it's 40 to 50 it was in the region. Oh, with add-ons. I think they got the... It's 30 the million got, reported. They, got in there, like, oh. they get first dibs on a, on a buyback. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's like 30 million. But yeah, I found it weird that they said return to home. Uh, decent signing, what do you think? Yeah, it's, yeah. It changes their fortunes at all. Sounds like the same team as last season with the same manager. True. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. So, um, uh, sorry, no, no, no. I need to know this. Why have they signed Odegaard? I don't know. He, he he didn't seem to do much really before when he was was he on loan before? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see a lot happen, so I I don't I don't know what's gonna change now. So if you look forward, yeah, if we say like raw, okay, cool, um, Odegaard maybe like isn't like a world beater at the moment. Mm, not yet, no. Um, he's put he's pouring lean what is that lean is that <laughs> <laughs> putting it in the baby bottle yeah 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 yeah. You tell what kind you of show. It's, it's gonna be a good show um yeah like like when you talk about other guys like what what's his like what's his ceiling like what are we what's the upside i i think if it goes well at arsenal he looks to move on to a team who are consistently in the Champions League. no i mean like in terms of playing style like what's he going to be doing on the pitch uh, neat and tidy stuff. I think he has a final pass in there. What kind of position? Tennis. Oh, I see where you're going. Look at this alongside, guy. Look at this you can guy. have two uh, advanced midfielders. Yes, alongside the number ten, who is uh, Emil Smith Rowe, as we spoke about last week. Um, I just want to say a few things before we start, guys. Ramsdale. No, that we're not. No, we're not. We're not doing it. We're not. We're not letting Ram. We're not letting Arsenal get away with buying triple relegation goalkeeper. Double. Double. No, triple. It's just a prediction. Go down. No, <laughs> before he got relegated from the Premier League with fucking Sheffield United and Bournemouth before and that. And Bournemouth before that, mm -hmm. he got what league was it? Was it League One or League Two? I don't know. He got relegated with Chesterfield. <laughs> 
they oh, brought I've him. seen actually I've seen the yeah the meme yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. They brought him 2017 18 season, I think. Mm-hmm. Relegation, yeah. he stayed there 18 19. They didn't get relegated again. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Somehow he nicked a move for more money. Amazing, fair play to him. He nicks a move, goes to the Prem, he gets relegated. Cool, then he nicks another move and gets relegated. Then he's nicked another move now to. He's got the best agent ever. He's getting relegated what going this Ch- way. Two promoting levels. Mm. No, no, no. This is a new level. He's oh, going cool. this way, down the leagues. And his money he's and status up the leagues. is going this way. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I can't understand. Shout out to an agent. Like, only happens at I mean, Arsenal. In happens the comments, Arsenal. let me know. Let me know. I yeah? need an agent I, I'm not a person. I don't watch Bear Bournemouth. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch Bear Sheffield United. But you let me know what game you saw that Ramsdale played sick? Because I want to go back and watch that game because that's got to be the game that Arsenal signed him for. It was, it was when Chesterfield played Notts County in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. In the Isthman. Yeah. In the yeah. Isthman. Yeah. Isthman. Um, yeah, he um, was welcomed uh, nicely by Arsenal fans so so well that he had to turn his comments off um, because people were sending him a barrage of... Uh, what, positive? Welcoming comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he should probably get used to it. Um, I guess we'll get into it in Arsenal and Chelsea uh, because, yeah, there, there were boos at half-time. Um, but, Jess, we stopped you. It's been long. Please, please go ahead. Oh, boy. Let it rip. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Welcome to Armchair Gaffers. I just want to say, I don't know why people think you need to call me to say that Arteta must go. I'm getting calls regularly. You didn't call me this week, but I'm still getting calls from mm-hmm. people saying, Jess... Our phone was busy. Phone's been busy. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take a walk, actually. If you guys know, I, I've been away. Oh, is that why you... Co- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, right. So okay. I've, I've been away for, for two days. I've How been to in, uh, in, uh, in Snowdonia, just to clear my head. No, respect it. So, and um, everyone's saying, I'll tell you, got to go. I, I want to give him time. I want to give the guy time. If he can get us promoted back to Premier League after he <laughs> then he, he deserves. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the game saw Lukaku score his first ever Chelsea goal uh, a decade after his debut. What did we think of Lukaku today? I, I've got something I wrote down here. Uh, Lukaku, um, the game was so easy for him. Yeah, It was so comfortable. He actually slipped into training mode. Yeah, literally. And then just scored a, a drill. When you say he, did a drill. Uh, he actually did slips in training mode. He did a mean? drill. He did the drill. You look, psh, fill the centre back, mm-hmm. psh, get into your feet, yeah, set it, set it spin up. without much pressure. Set it, mm. lack pressure. Let someone come onto it. Let them come onto it psh, and spin, tap in side foot. He actually just done the drill. That is it. Bro, I'm not saying it to sound funny. That is an actual. Dr- Am I lying? Like no, under I've drill. seen it. That's Literally, a drill. Like a Absolutely. Sunday league on the top. Hit the striker. Absolutely. Hit to the wide man striker. Say it to the wide man. And then mm-hmm. deliver. And, then, and then make the box. And then make the box. <laughs> make the box. <laughs> Not someone's like... I don't, I don't recall, but did we cover what Glenn Johnson said about Lukaku on the pod? Uh, you mentioned it, it before, but for pod, those yeah. who missed it, say, say it again. Glenn Johnson said, obviously, he's a big, powerful lad. Mm. Quite physical, mm. but... I just think the Premier League's a bit too quick for him. That was Glenn Johnson. Uh-huh. Said that before Lukaku officially signed. You know what is with Glenn Johnson? For, for, for some reason, I, I don't know why, I've never really connected with that man. It's probably because he wore the uh, Louis Suarez shirt. Some of that. Um, but yeah, that's for a whole nother day. And we'll probably talk about it in depth another time. Um, are we? Were we impressed with uh, Lukaku's debut, uh, apart from the goal? It's, it's hard. Um, or is it hard to say? Because it's against Arsenal. What does that mean? Yeah, like, I was like, if you're going to pick a game for Lukaku's debut game, his first mm-hmm. game, mm-hmm. who would you pick? Brentford, Norwich, I'd, I'd Arsenal. Pick, I'd pick yeah. Arsenal. I, I understand where SP's going with this, to be fair. Um, massive game as well, so called massive game because it's the London derby, isn't it? Yeah. But they didn't even feel the same. And Arsenal have previously done quite well um, yeah. in this. In, in I actually thought, that I thought yeah, I thought, like, I thought, I thought, I thought it was on the. And you know what? It would be the one. My bridging, shout out the cards. My bridging, yeah. Shout out the he was saying, um, the crowd might give them a lift today, and I thought, nah, this is Arsenal. But <laughs> <It> got toxic. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then no. But remember, we ain't seen fans for. A they good had the while. five minutes. It though. was going off for fifteen minutes, yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. think Arsenal started badly. 
No, no, no. If I'm being no, honest, it, like Arsenal were playing cold for mm-hmm. 15 minutes, but this is the problem. Like Chelsea didn't even play sick today. They were very organized and had Lukaku. And, mm-hmm. and then once the game was won, there's someone I want to speak about. Flo Jules. See this Kai Havertz guy? You're not fooling me yet. <laughs> not I'm impressed? So, nah, no. Like not at all? He's clearly talented. Yeah. But you see this thing that you do, that after your team get the goal, you start going everywhere, popping up, mm-hmm. the flip outside of the boot traits unlocked, <laughs> starts doing <laughs> all the things, the little Megs is, mm-hmm. all the stuff. And I'm like... I feel like the connoisseur relates. When he goes 2-0 up, he starts doing the same thing. That giggle. Uh, Are you that kind of person on FIFA? Uh, I don't remember the last time I played FIFA, but okay, potentially. <laughs> ISS <laughs> Pro? pro, pro or ISS? ISS. Oh. Maybe no, no, it's not called that. It's called East, East, Evo football, East football or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something poor. Yeah, great. But name. yeah, Kai, I'm not convinced. Okay. Mari? Oh my God. So Listen, Mari? I've been trying to tell. I've been, I've been trying to tell. Did, you, did I hit up you one you day? You told me, yeah. I had to, like, I had to get yeah. on a blow up. Because uh-huh. you know what is? This guy's here, mm-hmm. Pablo Mari. I assumed he's Brazilian. I thought, like, because he, he come from Flamengo. He, you're you're playing in a swagger way, so maybe you just learned a different style of football. Yeah. No, he's Spanish. It turns out he wasn't good enough for Spain. He's Spanish, bro. He's oh Spanish. my god! And guess he's Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, he's, he's Spanish. He, he was formerly uh, of the parish of Man City as well. Um, oh my god, it makes sense. But yeah, he he had a uh, is a bit of a tough time. Like when people are pinning you and they got the shirt full shirt, um, and you can't see the ball, is when you're in big trouble. Um, it felt, I'm going to be real with you. I, I, We saw Lukaku when he was young, remember? It felt like that. You know, like when you see the pictures of oh, like yes, Lukaku, Lukaku at nine. And De Bruyne. Yeah, when yeah, you yeah. see them. The, that literal. Like Lukaku's here, De Bruyne's like, profile, it's mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how it felt. Like yeah. when I see it, it got to the stage, yeah? It got to the stage like where Mari's not even like, there was a cross that came in. And Mari just kind of just said, right, this is your space, this is my space. That's cool. You that's cool with you me. You don't like to see that. Yeah. yeah. That's not but cool. holding though, in the back. bright note, holding. Big up holding. Desire. Holding said, raw. Something has to get lifted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. You're my, my brother. He's mm-hmm. talking to me. He's, I, I know, I'm not speaking. No. All right, cool. <laughs> I, did you see there was a, did, did you see, yeah, there was one bit like where he pointed at, there was like, no. the ball had gone off, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were picking up players. And he pointed like, oh, like, he done that to uh-huh. me. I was like, yo. But you could only see, you couldn't see who he's pointing to. But, you but as a man that kicks ball, I imagine. know yeah. what, what's going on here. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. said. Fair play to him. Uh, stepping in. And yeah, I see he tried to rally the troops with a couple of challenges. Um, do we think Lukaku makes Chelsea the complete package? No. Definitely adds to the package. Okay. A lot. I, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna say yes, yeah, because Chelsea don't leak goals. I remember last season when Chicho first that came. defensive solidity is a joke, Jeff. yeah. And then if you add Lukaku, doesn't that make you, doesn't that you know? Balance. Mm-hmm. And you know what, as well, he does this thing, he does this thing as well. Um, like he everything Lukaku was everything Lukaku was doing today, yeah, I felt like he was using all of his energy just to score. Like nothing else. I'm not running around, not doing. Took, but I will be there when I'm supposed to be there. Took 15 yeah. minutes, man. But then, then though, this is the this is the problem. Once he scores, he starts doing this other thing, which is, oh, I'm playing for the man them now, and no one. If you get the ball into him, in there's the nothing anyone can do. Yeah. And you got these these short diminutive low centre of gravity running tricky this skillful. way that way off oh, of him. Yeah. No, can you imagine Pulisic coming onto a a Lukaku set. It was a uh, it was a scary sight, and I've been worried about it for a while. Um, and, and then it seems... and he didn't even start Kante. No, when I saw Kante come off the bench, I was I was Shit. like, this is Did getting you see the bench? It's getting silly again. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, I was saying, yeah, at two 0 down, seventy five minutes or whatever it was. See Kante coming on, like, like what's that going to do? Um, are there any redeeming features for Arsenal? It's all a bit doom and gloom. Is there anything connoisseur you've seen which makes you think? This could be turned around. Uh, uh, Arteta is the man to lead the ship. Well, there's there's the luck of the draw. <laughs> we could just chance it. Other teams could have a bad day. And yeah. 
Maybe the refs might be on our side one time. <laughs> it's getting it's getting that bad. I mean, that is your only hope. Yeah, if you think about it, we only need what nineteen other teams to have bad days like thirty consistently, yeah. thirty yeah. eight yeah. times. Mm-hmm. It's not too much to ask for. It could now. happen. Yeah. There's someone we got to talk about though. Please. Is it Albert? No, what's his name? Oh, oh Sambi. Oh yeah, you're a, you're a, you're a big fan. is bonkers. He's tidy, man. Was 21 years old. No, no, no. I'm gonna say it. Like I know no one wants to be that guy that says stuff about someone and then they turn out to be a wanker. Yeah, you. It's time to yeah. Don't be scared. But you see what the way I'm I'm looking at this Lokonga you and I'm just be, I've only seen two games. Two mm-hmm. games. He lost both of them. Yeah. But wait, was it both two nils? One nil. One nil. Oh, two nil. It was two. Yeah. The yeah. throw on the throw in, in the but Brentford game, yeah. I, I look at bro, I look at this Lokonga Ute, yeah. He's got a bonkers passing range. I seen it, I see him hit like a 60 yard ping today. So crisp. Mm. Man. And he hit it as hard as he could hit it as well. And it just faded down just over the full back. So like, yo, this guy's mad. There's that. He's got mad feet. He gets on the ball in bonkers areas and turns. Like mm-hmm. he reads the game well, that's why he's turning and not losing the ball. So he's clearly an intelligent you. Like for me, I'm looking. I'm like, raw. Is this baby Basuma here? Who that who, did who cross big? my mind? Oh. And we're going to talk about oh, Basuma yeah, yeah. after. But yeah, um, any anybody else? Any more for any more? I think Arsenal missing nine senior first team players for a, oh, a range shit, of sorry. different oh. reasons, all sorts of different reasons. So does that give, or if you were an Arsenal man, would that fill you with hope? There are these players to return, and under um, Arteta's no, stewardship, it wasn't full string, first string Chelsea either. But there are, or, or what's today? Just a thing where the better team with the better squad and the better manager won. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we shouldn't an- overanalyze it. Yeah. Um, and no, no, no. What we like that Pablo and Mari situation. Is it? it needs to be because he's offering nothing. But cool. mm-hmm. And Rhys James put himself uh, in with a shout for best English right back uh, of the day um because because <laughs> yesterday in liverpool Oi. i saw some things can i just say sorry but I i'm gonna let everyone else things. speak i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna say sorry <laughs> it's a new season <laughs> okay so it's we're not gonna go as far as sorry but it's no. a new season it's a new season uh-huh. and some translate that how you something like. you gotta reset your opinion uh-huh and you see trent i'm it's I'm, time the reset, reset button, button has been pushed. He's moving bonkers. Crazy. Don't give that man time on the ball is what I will say. Uh, Liverpool beat Burnley 2-0 yesterday. Uh, they were top of the Premier League uh, for a few hours at least. A comfortable 2-0 win against Burnley. Uh, it was almost if the odd uh, pandemic hit Premier League of 2021 was just a bad dream as Virgil van Dijk commanded his side at the back. Uh, mm, don't know about N- that. No? Burnley gave them a a few scares as well. I'll say Dwight McNeil is trying to get Nick that move to Leicester or wherever he'll end up. Sit down. Um, but no, Van Dijk for me, yeah, alongside Matip, crazy partnership. They don't even like they don't need to run. A lot. Bro, bro, I, I'm gonna be honest. They with don't you. run a lot. That first fifteen minutes or ten or so mm-hmm. minutes, yeah, Burnley said, "Yo, let's test out this Van Dijk pussy." Yeah, yeah, bro. They just crossed the ball, bro. They just kept making him twist and turn. turn and turn, you don't need turn. that uh, after he, I, a year. Uh, I could see did. he weren't really feeling the grind. it. The grind. He could feel the grind, yeah. He wasn't feeling it. He, he, you see Van Dyke, he got true that game. Yes. He didn't, He'll be better for it. He didn't look like Van Dyke dominating guys, commanding mm. what's going I'd say probably, Matt probably was. Matt uh, looked like Defender 8. The A side yesterday. But I guess uh, it's good. Another game where Van Dijk's got through it. It's the first time he's played at Anfield. Um, and he has never lost at Anfield. What's that little in boy's his whole name? Career? That little boy. Uh, Elliot. Harvey Elliot. Yeah, I know. I've been hearing a lot. Of, I'm going to look. There's a lo- See when people gas me it. about man, yeah? That yeah. ain't like mm. not doing it at a certain level. And with adults, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about anything you think you don't care. Yeah, youth talking. cups and yeah, that don't usually, care. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, wicked, yeah. well done. All right, that's it. Um, but yeah, H- Harvey Elliott is in my face moving mental. Yeah, got his first first start, bro. I'll be honest, how does Thiago get into this team? 
He's back on the bench yesterday, weren't he? Because he weren't even in the squad in the first um, Liverpool game of the season. I don't know. Like, Thiago is definitely a better footballer than oh, yeah. Elliot. But Ridic- yeah. Elliot is all over the whole pitch doing... No, he's good, man. The things the, as well. The confidence and the almost arrogance, I'd say. No, no, no. I think we've passed he's confidence. It's gone to the arrogance because the, the, the double chest touch um, to pass it into Do Trent... Do you think the first one's intentional? I wouldn't put it past, <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the player like him. Um, he's been doing stuff like that monkey. since he was at like Fulham um, and he's crazy. Uh, but yeah, bonkers debut. Uh, Henderson was back. I knew, I knew it was um, patterned because he did a cross like... From the middle. Just to get it started. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, return to the starting 11. Now reached an agreement in principle over a new contract. Uh, he was tussling with them because he didn't want um, his days at Liverpool to kind of just play out and just become an older member of the squad. Okay. He's intent on starting games for the rest of his contract. Why not? And um, Klopp said, yeah, we're going to get that done. So I think that's decent <coughs> yeah. uh, for, for him. Still, also, a, still a very good player. Back on the subject of Van Dijk, yeah. I think what they missed most last season, we said it before, was, was the freedom, sorry, the freedom that he gives the fullbacks. Because even that Simicas t- guy looked all right. Oh. He's, mm. He looked all right. Oh. And I'm thinking, like, is, is, is Simicas good or is it the system and mm. Van Dijk and Matip, who is probably the most underrated person? Shout out to Michael. Yeah. Um, yeah, Trent, don't give him time on the ball. Some of those, like, deliveries yeah. again yeah, were, don't, were don't give him time. Uh, is he going to dread up, do we think? Oh, he's well, got he's got that Jay Z uh, that, that Jay Z the, um, uh, was it Bas- the Basquiat? Yeah. What's my yeah. no? What's my man's name? The, um, the cold rapper, J Cole. J Cole. He's got that oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the Jean Michel uh, Basquiat it. kind of yeah. vibes. I'm, I'm liking it, man. Maybe just start doing some. Do you know what I was gonna say as well about Trent? Like, I got I got to say it. it. It looks. I don't know if he's been working on it, but you can see like he's he's actually making a genuine attempt with his defending. Like you can see like it mean something like I, I feel like, like I can see it like, mm-hmm. which is kind of cold yeah I think he's probably paying attention and you, you, you'd expect that these do listen and hear a lot of the talk online and yeah oh he can't get forward he can't get back and I think there's probably a renewed hunger um, after him missing out on uh, the Euros probably and also yeah the season that he had you say you're, you're, you're bored of it SP um, title contenders do you think that, that squad's good enough Shakiri now going to Leon. Not that he would play any part in a title tra- their, challenge. Their squad's not thick enough. Fair play. Their squad's not thick enough. But no, like when you look at the first eleven or first, I say twelve or thirteen, mm-hmm. you say cool, perfect, that can compete. Yeah. But then after that, it's it's too long. The, the Nico Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the the, the left back stepping in for Robertson. Because you gotta think, yeah, if Mane or Salah gets injured. Well, if they're good, because they've got to go away for African Cup of Nations as well, mm-hmm. so they're not going to have them for about a month, I think. So they're going to lose them. Who are they replacing them with? Easy, easy. What Minamino? No, nah, Diogo Jota, who's wicked. He starts great in the yeah. air for a tiny if you bit. Got, if you miss out Michael Mane Lundra. and Salah, then you got um, Firmino, Firmino, Jota, and Divock Origi. Easy, <clears throat> Firmino and Divock Origi. <laughs> <laughs> Firmino and Divock Origi. I'm just going to say, I'm just mm-hmm. giving it. See Divock though well, he's, 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 he's a Mino Champions now, League winner we, you know? we, we rate Firmino now Sen- Sentiment again. I, so. I remember No one rating Firmino Okay season. I always did No, no he, he, yeah, what, so he scored what Eight, eight goals what, what, what does that mean Something like that He was horrible though. Wait wait what, what does that mean So if I rate a player It doesn't count Is that what you're saying <laughs> No I'm just No but I'm No I'm saying But sometimes You will say that though You might go left I've got, I got four words for you Go on Papu Gomez is Bonkers. Mikel Forsberg. <laughs> four words. Uh, on to Man City. Not four words. That's they not scored. Four words. But he's not. They scored five words. goals at the Etihad. The fans were back. Uh, Greenish opened his uh, City account in goal. an absolute thrashing. <laughs> yeah, hundred million. That's uh, what you get, innit? Shin, you that's, that's quite shin goal. roller. That's what um, well, well. Yeah, they've shaken off three successive defeats now. Uh, well, look, which was bridged across last season and this. Uh, Guardiola's side, yeah, assumed complete control from minute one, and again, uh, sorry, and outclassed the Canaries. Gabriel Jesus, the forgotten man. People keep saying City need a striker. Um, it must hurt him a little bit when people say that because he plays for City and he's a striker. Um, but he was deployed in a wide right position and same was as, same devastating. As, same as for what's it called as well for Brazil. 
devastating. I, I got a funny feeling. Pep. That's where Pep picked it ran up. The, ran the tapes. I, w- I wouldn't be surprised at that. Um, Yeah, just bagged himself at three assists yesterday. He was like a man on fire. He was sending him on a mad thing. It was bonkers. He, like, again, well, I spoke about Trent, but he looked hungry yesterday. He looked a bit possessed is a strong word, but you, yes. I felt like he, he was like, yo, these men are shit. Bit between the teeth. Today, mm-hmm. I'm nicking more, maybe another start. Yeah. You know what? I was going to say that it was only against Norwich, but you're right. You still got to turn up. So they gave him Norwich, gave him the chance and, and he, he took it. Took so, it. Yo, yeah. 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 You, was it? You can only beat his the teams stats, in front of you. His stats are a bit bonkers, you know. If you're a numbers man, you can make a strong, strong argument. Give me, he's, give me he, a that number. he's the coldest. That he, like, if you're stats man, you can make an argument that yeah. he's the You coldest. could convince. Go on, give, give, give me some kind of stat. Someone. Because I don't know any of his numbers. Oh, we'll, we'll locate it yeah. and then we'll, we'll okay. run it back. So I thought you had it on the laptop. Oh, no. Not at home. It's just in there. Um, Carl Walker's passing. It was ridiculous. He was doing the pre-assist thing. I'm not a pre-assist man, but there was a lot of pre-assisting going he, on yesterday. He passed. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was splitting that defence into, um, with like, consummate ease. You see that? You see that thing? That thing where, you, where man go... And it's too much, Bonkers. bro. I, I looked. I had to look back at the um one of the ones, one of the ones when mm-hmm. Jesus hit him with the yeah. So I thought, right, has he done something? Because it was so mad. And I looked, and it was no nah, that way, in that right. way. They yes. couldn't. They couldn't deal with but it. But the timing of the slap, so good. Slap. A little bit of detail on it. Maybe a little bit. Uh, Connoisseur. You're signed for 100 million, yeah, to Armchair Gaffer's yeah. first game at home in front of the fans. Yeah. You score a goal which comes off your knee. Do you celebrate it and give it that one? <laughs> Whilst you're trying to control it. <clears throat> like, how do you celebrate that? Uh, th- th- that one deserves more of a humble celebration. Okay. And nobody would complain, but... Well, he was. He, he looked like it was he almost, almost didn't it, know what happened. It was sly embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you could see the embarrassment in his smile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it didn't look like it, it was, was telling. really too too. No, too I hate. What, what do we think about the, the celebration? Are you allowed to celebrate your your see, home debut goal? See me. I would have done a knee slide, knee slide. shirt off, <laughs> kick, kick the corner uh-huh. flag. Was that the opener? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, second. second goal. Oh, it's just a real oh, nothing goal. Yeah, it was a bit. Yeah. Knee Alan slide, Alan shirt. shirt off, kick the corner flag, jump to the crowd. Um, you got to go in Zagi. In Zagi, you got to go in Zagi. Giving it one of those. Yeah, yeah I, I, just why, I love jokes. the way I love the way shit strikers. When I say shit, I mean like not technically not, yeah. amazing ones. Their celebrations are usually the cold. It means a lot to those guys, man. Um, they'll be tougher tasks for Robert Earnshaw. Great player. Great, great backflips. Yeah, tougher task for City, but that's as convincing um, a home victory as you'll see. Can no I say? KDB is what I was going to say. Um, I read an article this week and it was talking about how injury prone he may be becoming. And it's just something that I'd like us to keep down. He hasn't oh. been fit for quite a while, has he? Like, it's been actually, like, ages. Consistently, like for a period of time. Bro. He's always picking up some sort of. Run the tapes knock. back. He is injury prone. Bro, I started, you know, when you said that, Sad. it just licked me. It's fucked. He's injury prone. He can't do a season. But guess what? You should know that by his level of tech. Like, no, it's not a joke. You see, when men are that techie, you're putting different stresses. Like, why do you think Iron Robin can't hack him? Because it's too, he's, his thing's too sharp. He's just Xing himself. It's mad. Yeah, nah, K- and KDB's got tech in both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just he, te- he's just taking up the place. It's just one to yeah, and just Pep's pushing him in the background, back out into well, the all right. yeah. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> Break, <laughs> breaks down. Yeah, um, I was gonna say before sorry, before we move on, can we? I'm just thinking, should we like from now on discount any result a team gets against Norwich? Possibly so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, possibly so. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's fair. They are uh, fair the yellow submarine, is what um, Villarreal used to be referred to. Yeah, as you realize, I think something. Norwich are. Also got Norwich in a couple of weeks. <laughs> nah, it's blessed. It's blessing. Quick, <laughs> don't don't. Oh, I lost it. I just want to say, you see Diaz. Yeah, can we stop this? He's oh, he's the best. Shit. Nah, can we stop that now? No, but he's, Why so? he's from the continent. Because he's like he. Why does everyone talk like Diaz is sick? Bro, he's like, he's cold. You know what he is? Number one. He's not a prick. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get pricked. 
by, by strikers. He's not really on that. Apart from Lukaku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, but he will do that nothing. to humans. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like Diaz, he's a sick, like you're a sick man. You're a cold defender. But like, like you're not the best. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? You're not going best. For yeah, true, like a Van Dyke. Yeah, like, like the what the fuck are we talking about here? Man, not going to talk to me about Van Dyke and D- Shut up. I'm sick of it. He's scorched, right? No, I'm saying he's sick. He's just like, just he's not the best saying, anything. We should, we should calm it down, possibly. Centre-back. Get us in the comments. Let us know what your thoughts on Diaz. And is, oh yeah, are we going uh, OTT on his impact? I think the best game of the weekend for me was Leeds versus Everton. Yeah. Our man Rafinha came to the rescue uh, with a superb curling finish to rescue a point against Everton. In the club's first home Premier League game uh, with full stadium in 17 years, Ellen Road was jumping. It mm. looked bonkers. What, what do you think? Like, what's it going to take for everybody to cotton on to Rafinha? Oh, I'm oh, not sure. Fuck me. I I am not sure. What's he got to do? What, linked with Liverpool previously, um, haven't seen anything this summer to say that yeah, someone's going to come in with a late bid and and, and take him away from. No one's Road. going. No one's bidding for him. But I think if he keeps it up, yeah. bro, he's a seventy be, million pound. He'll player. be out that door. Um, uh, is um an interview with Gary Neville on a golf course. It is Harry Kane's agent. Jesus. Christ. Actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, 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 he does. no, no, no. One thing he doesn't. He right, Charlie Kane's, Kane's got enough on his hands at the minute. Is that without, Kane's agent. Um, yeah. What a guy. Wait, can we just have a moment of silence for his agent though? Because his agent is fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. Six six yeah. years. Well, do you notice know, something yesterday? Um, about Leeds playing a novel formation. What was the formation? I'm not quite sure, but <laughs> nobody knows. I'm not quite sure. It, it looked, it looked like, it looked like a top keypad. Like it was, yeah, a phone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know when you got yeah. put a card in. Yeah, like, it was a three, 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 one. They done it before. They done it last season. Connoisseurs working it out. Looking, <laughs> <laughs> is that, how does that even? Is that like 12, 13 players? <laughs> three, 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 nine plus one, ten. Eight plus one. Mm-hmm. Catch me in the place. It's quite big, yeah. big tune. Uh, but it actually makes sense. The three 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 one works. How are you a fan of it? Huh? You're a fan of it. Yeah, because it offers a lot of things in a lot of areas. Defensively, there's numbers. You got your banks there set, attacking. You got your men wide. You got your forwards inverted, fullbacks overlapping. I'm not gonna lie. There's something like there was like some overloads that was going on that, I, but I couldn't work out like if it was like is this. Like, has this just happened? Or, is this, like, yeah, but is this by positive? design? Yeah, 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 yeah I couldn't yeah. work out, but I liked it. Mm, this, is, this is what organised chaos is what we'll call um, it. Uh, Everton. Yeah, your boy. D- Damari Gray, I've got here. Oh, a, comedy, here. a comedy figure to some caused Leeds an untold amount of problems down the right-hand side. He's repaid his transfer fee already. And the left-hand side. He, he, oh, yeah, as SB said, he has repaid the transfer fee already. Of what, 1.6 million? I think million that was million, one of the great, greatest oh. shouts of the weekend. Bro, Um, I've got... Where are, Everton, Gray, best signing ever in life. <laughs> Value wise, I, I did the in life bit, but I like Rafa Benitez though. You know, he's just such oh, yeah. a. You see Rafa, he's a, a man of integrity and intelligence. That's a you big lie. Integrity, yeah, not at Everton <laughs> nah. as a Liverpool legend yeah, a... for money. Probably he's not. Seen, <laughs> he's seen, yeah, that I've got a guy. Yeah, <laughs> that Jade's so I've got great. a guy who can't use his feet. The only way he can score a goal is with his head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy two wingers Pat the cross. that all they do is cross the ball, bro. And oh I'm gonna just say, Calvert Lewin, Lewin mate, just run there and run there and use your head. He could have had be so many that somewhere is, between here. That is Everton's game plan for 90 minutes. Do you know why? Because last season we saw the drop off in Calvert Lewin's goals. Oh shit! We saw the goals drop. Oh. So I keep there. We come back when Luca Dean was absent. Yes, Calvert Lewin no for ages. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know. Seamus Coleman still playing? Child. Yeah, forever. He's, that thing doesn't he's, really. He's beyond. Like he's, he's <laughs> but yeah, but that's he's, not a he's not doing enough from that yeah, side. But now you got Townsend who might do it. Might you got Townsend? Uh, no, Townsend might. is Definitely. chopping back. Might. That chop, you know, that's a See, trademark. When he does chop. that, you know, when he does the big chop, when he does that one, you know, when he slides it away a bit because oh. you know, first time oh. rapping. One of the most electrifying moves in sports <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> Um, DCL made it two and two. Uh, I knew, scored, I from, knew. scored he, from the spot. When I saw him doing this, look, 
When I saw this, the I don't know. Convinced when I saw him doing this, I saw him doing this stuff, yeah? Bro. I said, Walks is going to speak about... <laughs> Walks is going to speak about Bro, my he was charged for that pen. And something that stunned. we've missed out on uh, during COVID, he gave a big shush to the Leeds fans. No, 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 no. I what saw that. I did like it, though. I liked it. I loved it. Yeah, liked but it. we missed out on that because there were no fans. Mm. Mm, yeah, shit. Sure, gave it a big one of those. Um, why, why was that, though? I'm not sure. I think they were jabbing him a bit. They were, they were waving. Someone actually... Uh, there's a clip of a big fat Leeds fan with his top up and he's like rubbing his belly and like doing weird things. Yeah, you know, see me? I'm, I'm all for players, um, I'm all for players um, bantering the fans back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See when Andy Bio did the thing as Arsenal when he out of the pitch, yeah? Superb shit. Even as, as an Arsenal fan, I'm, I'm all for <laughs> that. That running gate was techie Bro. though. Yeah. It just wouldn't end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was that film? Fucking the last thing was. Where it's gone. Was fucking, it was just sprinting. The what? It was Elaine. Oh, get, out, get, get out. Get out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, were, they were get out vibes. running mad, bro. Yeah, no. I'm like Shikari exactly. yesterday where she struggled oh, hey, to get Sh- there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Shikari. Um, but that's another sport. Do you, do you like, let's not, let's not huh? go there, Shikari. We've got a lot of American subscribers and we don't want to upset them. That was peak. Yeah, that that was tough to watch. Uh, One, two, click, three. click, click, equalized um, with the help of another Michael Keane mistake. That's two in two weeks. Bro, Rafa, the He's defensive bad. mastermind, will not be happy with that. Someone was who was I, I was there was I was He's arguing bad. with someone recently, and they was trying to say to me like, put him in a conversation. No, they was trying to say to me like, I can't remember who it was like Everton and someone else, and they were trying to say no, nah, but Everton centre backs are or whatever as D. So I was like. Yeri Mina. They're like, yeah. They're like, Yeri Mina, he Colombia, is from vaults, Barcelona. Bro. I said, are you fucking dumb? He's rubbish. And Barcelona buys shit players all the time. That's been normal. He was and part of that previous administration. The only one that, like, the only one, I think Godfrey is Godfrey. sick. Out of the minute, yeah. I think he's sick. I think he's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gray put Everton ahead with a clean strike to make it 2-1. Again, another little sh- celebration for the Leeds faithful. Um, I think he's looking bright. Um, and he Gray? Be- yeah. The way he celebrated, I don't know about everybody else. I felt so happy. For it's him. one of those. Yeah, he I was like, he's he so overcome. The knee slide. He couldn't even slide. He, boop, boop. he you know when he, <laughs> yeah, it's like the a plane was mad. Yeah. Boop, boop. It Bouncy was. Ball. I was Crazy. like, you know what? Adrenaline, you're good. Mm-hmm. But after the game, gonna have to That's go gonna check that. the physio. I sum up. Um, yeah, he became the 34th player to have scored four and against Everton in the Premier League. Um, and then Rafinha, yeah, at the end denied the Toffees their second straight win. Um, I don't want to say that this becoming his, it's becoming his trademark strike, but I'm going to say it. His that left foot is wild. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's where we are. Um, I think, yeah, Everton will feel hard done by, uh, still unbeaten under Rafa. Lees picks up their first points. Uh, proper end-to-end stuff and it flies in the face of the previous Benitez setups, uh, Everton fans probably would have been worried about. Um, Aston Villa, Newcastle. Callum, mm. Callum Wilson. More doom and gloom. Callum Wilson, Callum Wilson missed a yeah. fucking sitter. Isn't that twice now? Or did he? He scored oh, last week. He scored last week, he did. Um, but he missed a sitter. He threw on goal. Uh, made a bit of a mess of uh, Mingsy. Tyrone Mings manhandled him. One on one with the keeper and he just didn't hit the target. Disappointing. Like that? Just Danny Ings, isn't it? Do, do you know? Do you know what my highlight of that was like? That in the same league, yeah, that we got Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Marcelo Bielsa, mm-hmm. Thomas Tuchel, all these like tacticians. We've got Dean Smith. Dean Smith, without John Terry this time. Long throw <laughs> to the center half, flicks it on. Danny Ings, your new signing, bicycle kick. Bro. That is like the perfect marriage mm-hmm. of like tactics, but. Mm-hmm. We're going to have some today. It's not well. too cute either. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yo, Dean Smith, I was wrong about you. I mm. rate your thing. The, the villains will, will get behind that. They said, um, I think- And Tyrone in an Mings, I don't really like interview. his vibe, but I like his vibe now. In, in an interview, they asked Ings, uh, is that something that you worked on? He's like, I'm not going to discuss what we worked on. Yeah, yeah, I see that. <laughs> so I won't tell you that yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. Um, and it, it all came off. El Ghazi scored a pen there. So good. Calm so, down. so good. El Ghazi. So, 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 so sorry at no point last season did I put you as one to mm-hmm. watch because you are wavy. Yeah. Um, yeah, Danny Ings with the goal of the season there and yet yeah, El Ghazi wrapping it up. Back-to-back defeats for the Magpies. Um, I predict it will all become very toxic very soon. Yeah. They'll stay up, man. I think they'll be all yeah, right. Because yeah, you got to think here. Yeah, look at the relegation teams. 
that I mean think look at the teams that's been promoted this year. So you got what Norwich, uh-huh. you've got Brentford, yeah. and you've got who's the other one? Watford. Mm. They're all shit. Yeah, but I feel like Newcastle are a Jace to them. They're like in but, and around. Yeah, yeah, but they are, but then you can you can look at Newcastle's team and say, All right, they've got a few Prem players like Wilson, Maximum, Maximum, um Shelby. Shelby. Shelby's got Shaw. Couple, Lascelles couple, on his day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not when so you look sure at about Lascelles. Oh, not sure. Yesterday, no. um, the, he kicks the ball off the pitch too much for me. You hate that from centre backs. I'm I cool. fucking hate. I think it's a part of no, being a centre back. Man, <laughs> bro, this <laughs> thing <laughs> where you, just, bro, you just lashing, just spray it throwing the, your body at the ball, spray it to the it ball off boy. the pitch because you can't be bothered to think. I know it's high pressure situation. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna talk about how much money you make, no. but what I will say is, is you, yo, you train, Mudgy. You train, my G. I just need you to keep it on the sometimes. Island. Just hook it that way, then. Like you don't need to hook it into Rose. Yet. Hook it up the pitch. You got Wilson now. Let's go. Let him make it stick. Fuck. Fans at home, let us know if uh, centre backs are allowed to kick it off the pitch every now and again. Because um, I always think it's good. Just harsh when he says that. Um, yeah, the defeat was Newcastle's thirteenth in twenty twenty one. Only Southampton and Burnley what? have lost more uh, top flight games this year. Ings is just the fourth player to score in his first two Premier League appearances for Aston Villa. Dalian Atkinson, Dion Dublin, and Ross Barkley. Oh. oh. Where is he? Where is Ross? At Chelsea, Chelsea, in the in-between. Sure. Yeah. He's in the Chelsea. land of wind and ghosts. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, 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 a dark, dark place. Uh, shout out to Danny Drinkwater. Uh, Brighton slapped Watford uh, at the Amex yesterday. Dispatched Watford at home to make it two wins out of two. Uh, it was routine, some people believe. But last year, it took Brighton until January the 31st to record their first three points at home. Fucking oh, hell. That oh, is home, like home, so man. bad. That And and this is the great tactician. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is your, wait, this is your guy. Is, this I is your guy. I, I, I is it believe. New season? No, 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 no. I'm not pressing the reset button. I like yeah, yesterday. They what they killed Watford. It was bad. It was no, so no. bad. They that first like Watford. Watford looked like they really, really missed Nate. Bro, Child the lack of organization, rash decisions. Uh, there was one a tackle on Morpe where he kind of fake dislocated his shoulder, and I was just like, that, <laughs> "That's a team at like two 0 down doing crazy things." Uh, I um a little bit. I saw something on the internet. The, the internet said that only Arsenal. Could go to Brighton with fifty million pounds in a suitcase and leave without Basuma. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday, are we going to speak about him? Yes, yes. because you see, yesterday, do you know about Is Basuma? No, you do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he's tuna. changed his branding on Instagram. Uh, YB eight. Oh, oh. He's getting brandy now. Yeah, yeah, we got, <laughs> the, <laughs> got the joints though. We got the joints they're as well. Let's get that yeah. yeah, I don't know if they. I don't know, but they're coloured though. Let's get that move. See me. I'm with, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Marble <laughs> <laughs> for it was in the humble. No, because no, no, no. It's time. Mali or whatever. You don't follow him on Instagram. Follow his Instagram and you'll see. No, no, no. He's up there with. Are we going now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because travelling. See the see what it is. Yeah. Like we, I feel like loads of us, man. Them, like if you follow us on the, the pod, you will know we love Basuma from the, the whole Ridiculous time we've had. Ridiculous player, and it's like yesterday just seemed like his coming out party. Like it was the moment when everybody finally understood and saw what he has to offer, and it's mad because like he's been doing this, like he's been what's this? Maybe his third season. Third, I think, season in the prem. Season, yeah, man. he's been Probably. doing this, man. So he's got the consistency. To match up the hype and the excitement, like oh right, no, it's just, it's a real thing. Joke. He real looked thing. like um, the the eldest kid in the playground, like playing with like I don't know some year sevens, and he's like a six former. It was it was a ridiculous. He's you know what he it is though. Clatter people as well. He's got good decision making. That's what's so mad. clean, man. Like he seems to know. He seems to know when when to like he treads the line of taking the piss. Oh, he definitely yeah. takes yeah. the piss. It's like he got like a kind of. Like, Pogba kind of Bro it's that kind of yeah, And I've always got time For a player That pulls his sleeves like that Bro you see I'm not gonna lie when he, when That he, tells me a lot about you When he laughed man. Cause he's blitz When he laughed and, In uh, Gwenduzi's face At his pain I was like I really on the floor. hope You're not a piece of shit Footballer And he's not He just was showing me That day No I'm a bad boy mm-hmm. Yeah And I'll be here 
I'll be here next season after you've told man I'm cold. I'll be cold next yeah. season as well. Don't worry, it's cool. No, nah, fantastic player. Um, Brighton, the XG Kings last year. Uh, the shot, <laughs> the shot conversion is now up from eight percent to fourteen. Why do they love the woodwork? Oh, love so, it. I, I don't, I don't oh, get their it. Their finishing is just Shocking. bad. Don't do, matter who's up front as well. Yeah, yeah well, the more pay. Oh, hey, that <laughs> old Connolly one. He just it, it went. It definitely went in the goal That's and bad. hit the, and it went through the net. Like it was a goal. Like, what? Why weren't they gone? Like, I, I don't understand why. Why is he? He's just lashed it as well. <laughs> he but, doesn't move like that in the rest of the whole pitch, you know. He moves patterned, composed. Mate, he he's messed up the shot conversion. Yes. Like it was a hundred percent a goal, but he somehow yeah. didn't score. Uh, do we think a top half finish is uh, beyond Brighton? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. Gloss past the most important bit, though. Huh? They're not in sixteenth. That they went top for a bit. Beard game, strong. Pot, Potter, beard Different. game, strong. It's, it's a new season. Trying new it's things. New man. look. Oh, yeah. I feel like I feel like the joke's gone now. Yeah, it's a serious thing. Basuma's mm-hmm. moving tapped. Mm-hmm. The beard <laughs> here. We're out yeah, of and links with clubs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Last time. We're out of sixteenth. He's it's seen down. what um, a decent. A stake can do for you yeah. if you pattern the jacket. Can protect you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah shout, shout out to Brighton. A uh, few shockers uh, today. United drew against Southampton. Went from title contenders to Ole has no tactics again in one week. Get him out. Fantastic. Get him out. This is what I was saying before when every all these United fans was all happy and everything. I kept telling you, it doesn't matter who we have in our squad if we have this prick as our manager oh, shit. because he hasn't got any tactics. And we don't have a coach. His his coaches is is Michael Carrick and Mike Phelan. It's not happening. There's no coaching going on. There's but nothing. It, it was all good a week ago, though. Yeah, can, nah, I just, can, <laughs> can I just say? It was, it was the I same, like bro. Um, <laughs> last week's game, we have to remember that United were playing Leeds, who, as Scott just said last week, Leeds don't learn. Well, so, no, if you, mm-hmm. it's a mm-hmm. known fact. It's a known fact. Leeds if you can learn. score one goal against Leeds, you can score ten today. Exactly, it's but that's on you, though. It's on you. It's Did on you. you. See the chances United have today. Yes, but brother, brother, brother. is brother. that on Ole? Brother. No. no. But we know at Martial already. Like when I saw him leading the line, I assumed Cavani is. He's still well. getting up to finish the line. Fitness. When you saw him leading the line, leading. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the what was he doing? What was he looking like? Why what is he going to Ashley? Actually, actually, what do we think actually, of that trip? Ashley, oh, yeah, actually, actually young. Yeah. I think yeah. he was trying to channel his inner Lukaku, but <laughs> uh, it didn't quite work out. <laughs> it's not, it's not work. Do, you, do you think he went to that barbers that that we see on the way? Possibly. Oh, okay. Probably. Because that joint, he might have Probably. tried a different Gen- joint. Gen- yeah. He might have went to your joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll, I'll be honest, that I, I, like when that trim, mm-hmm. knowing that he's a, he's a, he's a, he was a young um, prospect coming out of Monaco with a, a Ballon d'Or clause. I right. When I saw that trim, I kind of felt like, I don't know where your confidence is at right something, now. Something has Stop gone wrong. Stop along the line. Line. Has he really got Ballon d'Or clause in his contract? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What's the clause? More money has to yeah, run. Yeah, more money. He has to run Monaco money if he gets a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like realistic when we first got him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a tad. Yeah, yeah. A tad. But now I, I can confidently, I can confidently say that he is never going to be nominated for the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> Monaco's never seen that. That one is gone. United. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know what's funny? What's hilarious is that United are laughing and crying at the same yeah. time because. Mm. They ain't got to run the money, but at the same time, <laughs> he's here now. He's here now. <laughs> Not getting closer to a Ballon. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we spoke about Pesuma. Could he solve United's midfield uh, conundrum? Yes. yes. Uh, because we're seeing yes. Matic in yes. there. We're seeing yes. Fred in there today. McTominay coming off the bench. No, Would Pesuma just Not Fred, solve it? Uh, what is it? It's, it's, it's McTom. McTom. No, McFred. 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 Yeah. McFred. Yeah. But this is the thing. Yeah. So Evil axes. This is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. So we need to figure out what is the purpose of Van Der Beek Shit. because. He's not even getting on before Jesse Lingard, who's leaving the club. So what does that say? So see me, I know that Oli knows his team. Week in, week out. Like, he knows who he's playing on Boxing Day. Today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he knows who he can look playing. at who he's, the team he's playing against and just pat. No, no, no. He doesn't know who he's playing against, but he knows who he's starting. Okay? It, within reason. The, so like, be, be, so he knows who he's playing. Like James Rodriguez doesn't, or Hammers Rodriguez. 
who <laughs> for some reason this week went on uh, Twitch and said, I don't know who Everton are playing this weekend. Before, 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 yeah. Why before does he, when he, sorry, when, <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you just, but when the transfer window opens, he just loads up the Twitch and starts the, moving nuts. What is wrong with him? Yes. You know, he was moving nuts like uh, Madrid. They come out and they need to keep like, him Yo, they're the trying internet. to say like, man's not professional. Suck your mum and that man's like puta de madre. Yeah, yeah, Bruh. yeah. He's pretty deep with it. All I know is his team. Back to um, Donny Van der Beek. He's got no. There's no space for him at United. No, there's bare space. There is. It's just Oli doesn't. No, know under Oli. Do. No, 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 no. Oli's there, so there's no space for him. Yeah, yeah Oli's not going. Would he get a new three year contract? Four year. So, so Oli, Oli's here now. Van der Beek. Um, Andrews Pereira, whatever his name is. He's gone to Flamenco now. Um, okay, people tried to God. say, oh, people tried to get excited because he scored a goal in pre-season. Goal, yeah. I said, are you dumb? No, what's that, that, uh, pre-season. Pre-season. What do you call him pre-season pillar? He's going, he's go- are you hearing where he's going? Flamenco. Flamenco. His performances have taken him to Brazil. Yeah. Back down. So what does that, yeah, does that, does that mean that, yeah, your performances have Your performances have, have taken yeah, you to yeah, Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's who want you. That's who need you. I'm just going to say, United fans, just don't be excited this season because we're just going to have another meaty season of just getting top four, maybe a little semi final or quarter final somewhere in a cup. And that's it. And Oli's going to stay in a job. Is SB the biggest pessimist? As long, as long, as long as Oli gets United top four, he won't get sacked. It's probably true. I'm feeling. It's true. Yeah. You've got the, the connoisseur stamp of approval. Brother. Oh, that was yours. That was Jesse's stamp of approval oh, as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, not pretty uh, for United. Two points dropped for me. Um, but yeah, more of the same. That's how I'd explain it. When's Rashford? Oh, so that's what I was going to say. You see, with this United team, though, this result today makes you realise how fragile this shit is, though. Life. Yeah. Yeah. Life, <laughs> life will like start. You could, like, you know what I'm saying? You could wake up tomorrow and just like. Last week it was all celebrations. Now oh. it's. Because like on a on a serious bro, note, yeah, look, two two. I don't know, nothing even mad happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's like Sancho. When how when, when did Sancho come on? Well, he come on early. Is it f- if he had enough time. Uh, fifty six <laughs> maybe. I think around then, yeah. But let's just say Ra not include really Sancho yeah. and Varane. Mm-hmm. It looked very much just like Man United before. without. Mm-hmm. That boy was Southampton have given United um, some troubles. I remember as a kid when they played at the Dell, um, they used to give United big, big troubles back then and in more recent times. So today I weren't too surprised their crowd was jumping as well. Um, so yeah, whenever United comes to town, um, it's, a, it's a big, big game. Oh, but yeah, more of the same. Can't ignore as well that Bruno Pogba link up, though. Whoa. <laughs> that was a power league goal. That was a high level that's power league goal. That was a power league goal when that's the team that plays top of that's top of the league. That's what Jess what are you Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Blinders. Um, so. we've won the league for the third time in a, in a row. Well it's done. that kind of level. Is that La La uh? La It's called the Premier League. Oh. Um <laughs> by the way, um Is this a shit house for me? But we we're playing the other day, yeah? Had a friendly game, yeah? Yeah. And then we're winning like um we're we're winning. And I'm I'm on the bench now because like the job's done. I ain't got to play. Like Rest it's, it's yeah, a margin. Yeah. And then <laughs> the player on the other team said to his player, "Oh, don't worry, man. These, these lot are prem team. Like they like like they're just flexing us because they're a prem team." And I, was, I, I turned around and I said, "Oi, prem champions." Uh, <laughs> no, no. If, yeah, it's about accuracy, man. It's about accuracy. You can't have people saying the wrong things. Yeah, and then Pull I'm all for that. You know, Pull and, him then, up. and then and then the, the guys like whatever, man. Anyway, it's only like four two. What was it four two? I know the score. Mm-hmm. I was like, ref, ref. What's the score? What's the score? 15 <laughs> 2. <laughs> How hey, do you get he, the yeah, scores see, out He's that? a man who's not. Yeah, just, you did like, well. I, I know that you lot are pagans because oh, well. there's no, like, I don't have it in me to score 13 <laughs> more goals than you. Yeah. Once I've got to. Three goals is keep ball now. Pass completion. Like, yeah, I'm not really, but you're yeah. that person. No, I came, I came off the pitch. Ch- ch- keep oh, right. I, right. I played about five minutes. So you get, so basically you, you passed it on to those. It's not, it's not, and I can imagine said, you're still encouraging it. To Jabio Jesus, basically. <laughs> yeah. Co- oh, right, track your him. runners. The guys, they're not running. Track him. Nah, track him. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah if you ever play against PK Blanders, let us know how you get on. Um, we only play for, for money and friendlies. So if you yeah. guys want to, you'll, you'll probably get turned over. Um, before we wrap up, we're not going to speak on Crystal Palace, Brentford, yuck. Uh, Wolves uh, and Tottenham played today. Tottenham 
one one nil. Nuno returned to his former employers. Uh, Deli Ali scored his first goal in how many months? Scorch loads. Um, <laughs> seventeen <laughs> loads. Yeah. Oh, 17? seventeen months. <laughs> How does that even happen? Um, Harry Kane made his long-awaited return from his extended summer break uh, as Tottenham maintained their 100% start to the season. Six points from six. You know what I'll say? 100%, 100 million percent under Jose Mourinho. The same thing happened. That exact same squad, mm-hmm. we lose that game. Okay. I, wouldn't expect, I thought you were going to say the exact same thing happens. No, nah, also Nuno so far is like, I don't know if it's right, I'm going to just use tactics you don't know mm-hmm. whilst I'm implementing my thing. But you're doing the exact same thing as Jose Mourinho. Same tactic. And can I also say, for the two games Tottenham have played, or the three games you lot have played this season, let's not get into, into the second game. Oh, continental corner. Yeah. Um, you won the first one against Man City, 1-0, <laughs> which is to be expected. Yeah, they have, apparently they've never scored at your stadium. They've no. been there three times, yeah. never scored there. So that one nil was to be expected. And Hong Min Son regularly. And, and that's what he does. So that, that there was a given. You then won against Kinda. Wolves. Yeah. A penny. Mm. Again, that there was a given. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because yo, I can feel his energy. Oh, he's changing. No, no, no. no, <laughs> okay. no, no, no We're no, saying no. the lines are, the, <laughs> no, no, the stars no. are aligning. Yeah, so Scorch has been buoyant. He's been you buoyant. Yeah. In a I, lunar I shift. I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel it. Exactly. So I'm just... Be prepared, guys, for a massive tilt in in, in everything. But right now, enjoy it. Shout out, it? shout out, CK. Yeah, because oh, okay. CK taught me. Yeah, he taught me when Man U was in the dunya. Yeah, one day, one day, he just woke up and started saying, "Nah, man, I, I like this Ole guy." And Ole was shit these times, and it just started, it just started turning. And now oh. we're here, and now he screams, "It's lit!" And you ask him, is Ole good? He says no. But it's lit. No, it's lit. And I'm like, yep. Yeah. That's my energy now. I see K the footballing terrorist. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Deli Ali played in like a slightly deeper role. Uh Adama Traore was a threat. But um surprisingly to the rest of us, uh, not to Jess, he lacked the cutting edge. Well Adama Traore did, didn't score or assist. No. <laughs> he didn't add to his um thirteen um career assists and goals over 200 games no, hey, no, no, Do you know what was mental for me no, Like no one could hack him here No one So it's like the man them I don't know if they realised In the game Or if this was before or Whatever So they just let him Just go on his left <laughs> All game Go on the Dharma That's quite Go on the Dharma okay. And he just kept going ball. Peeling man That's quite Medi, medi yeah. you, don't, you can't wrap your left foot Around the football Hooky so ones, yeah. It's cut back or pass it Johnson's? straight in back. <laughs> what we're doing here, Mr. No. Johnson's BBO. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tough man. Uh, Wolves, that's two losses from two. Uh, it's looking a bit scary for Bruno Lage. Um But yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. Um, another week in the Prem. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Let us know where we were wrong, where we were right. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow the Chicken Connoisseur. Um, and we'll catch you tomorrow for the Continental Corner. Peace.